Thanks for joining us today. My name is Dr. Alyssa Willis. I'm a staff neurologist at the Mellon Center for Multiple Sclerosis. Today I have one of my patients who's here to talk about starting disease-modifying therapy and what to expect. Dr. Willis, I think I'm ready to tackle this MS thing and I'm just wondering what is the next step and I'm kind of worried that I might end up in a wheelchair. I'm glad to hear that you're ready to tackle this MS because I'm ready to tackle it with you. Okay. While there's no cure for MS yet, we do have 12 medications that are approved by the US FDA for treating relapsing forms of MS. So there's, there, while there's no cure, there's a, there are many ways that we can keep the MS in check and prevent it from progressing to the point that you'll need a wheelchair. Okay, um, 12 medicines, so how do you pick the right one for me? That is an excellent question. As we talked about before, there are currently no lab tests, there are no MRI tests that I can use to predict which medicine will be the right medicine for you. Okay. All of these medicines work a little bit differently and not every medicine is appropriate for every single person. So for the first medicine, it's very important that we pick one that you think you can take consistently. The bottom line is that if you don't take the MS medicines, they don't work at all. Okay. So if you think, based on your routine, that it will be hard for you to remember to take a medication twice a day, then maybe we should start with something that's given a little bit less frequently. On the other hand, if you feel like you're so nervous about giving yourself shots that you actually won't do the medication, then we should look at starting with one of the MS pills. Okay, so then after I've started the medication, how do you know that I've picked the right one? So after you start the medication, I want to see you back in clinic. I want to see you back in clinic within one to two months after starting the medicine. The first thing that we'll ask, that, that we'll ask you about, that we'll talk about, is whether or not you've been able to take your medicine. Did you get your medicine? Are you able to take it consistently? Does it make you feel bad? Are there reasons that you would stop taking the medicine? And then the next thing is we would follow up a few months after that, generally at about six months, to repeat the neurological exam, to take another look at the MRI of your brain, and that's the, that's the first checkpoint. If everything is looking good at that first checkpoint, then we'll continue with the medicine and then follow up every three to six months thereafter. But if I see something new on the MRI at that six month visit, okay. or if I see something new on your neurological exam, we may switch to something stronger that early on. Okay, um, once I begin the medication, does that mean that the tingling in my foot will stop right away? That's an excellent question. All of these medicines are actually preventive medicines. So I expect these medicines to prevent new symptoms, okay. to prevent disability, and to prevent new things from showing up on the MRI. I actually don't expect starting one of these medicines to take your old symptoms away. Okay. Now, if your symptoms have started fairly recently, there may be a chance that once you've started on this medicine, that your symptoms may improve a little bit faster. The nervous system does repair, but it does it very slowly. And if we can help it out by taking away the attack that's going on, then sometimes you'll actually repair a little bit quicker. Okay, I'm a little worried too um, if the medication will make me sick, kind of like chemotherapy, if like my hair will fall out, and also if people at work might notice that I've begun to take medication. Those are all really common concerns. All of these medicines do have side effects. For example, some of the shot medications cause flu-like side effects or headaches in some people who take the medicines. Some of the other ones cause upset stomach. But generally, I don't expect these medicines to make you feel bad like what we would think of with cancer chemotherapy. If your medication is making you feel bad, I wanna know about it. That may be a good reason to change medicine even early on. Okay, um, with there being no cure for MS, and the likelihood that I would need to be on medication forever or indefinitely, um, is that even safe to be on medication that long? I would expect you to be on medication for quite a long time. Um, at some point, most people with multiple, multiple sclerosis can stop their medication, but it's around age 60 to 70, and there's no consensus among multiple sclerosis neurologists when it's okay to stop medicine. So for you, I would plan on being on medication for a long period of time, I do expect a cure before you're 60 years old, so you may That's actually right. stop medication sooner than that. Okay. In the meantime, some of these medications have a very long safety track record. For the shot medications, for example, we have more than 25 years experience with these medicines, and we know that they're safe to take for a long period of time. Okay. For natalizumab, one of the IV medications, we have more than 10 years clinical experience with that, 
and for the pills that, that the experience is accumulating, now more than five to 10 years with each one of those okay. medicines. Okay, great. Well, does that answer your questions? It, it does, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. You are very welcome. Thank you for joining us. I hope that I answered your questions. If you would like more information, please check out our website, which is listed below.